Hey guys, it's Jen from Beauty Riot X, and today we are talking about Tarte's new chrome paint pots. I have two of them, Top Yacht, which is like a rose gold, and Martini, which is kind of like a dirty antique gold color. So I got mine from Ulta. There's five shades. I got two. They're $22 each. These shadow pots dazzle with a spectacular mirrored metallic effect that has a high sheen of a cream or gloss, but the easy wear and application of a powder. With over 80% pure pearl pigments, it's easy to use as finger paints. No brushes necessary. I did use my fingers when I applied them today, except for my inner corner, which I'll tell you about. <clears throat> it says you don't need to put a, use a primer, but I used Martini on my lid today, and I did actually use a glitter primer, just because I wanted to see if it affected the, the look of it in, in any way. And, and as you can see, I mean, it's beautiful. Very nice, very buttery. I put Top Yacht, which is the gold one, on my inner corner, also beautiful. I'm sick, as maybe you can hear from my extremely sexy voice. So my first issue came about when I opened Martini. You know, you open Top Yacht and it's kind of, it's not necessarily pressed, but it's kind of compact powder. Well, I opened Martini, that was not the case. So this is like, I, I can't even turn it. It's like balled up, it's not compact at all. I'm actually gonna go exchange this at Ulta the first chance I get. It's like, it's not even broken. It was almost like, <clears throat> it's almost like it was never compact in the first place, it's weird. Anyway, but I will still, I'm gonna swatch them for you right now. So this is Martini. Very, very beautiful, very pigmented, smooth, a tiny bit chunky, but nothing, nothing criminal. And like I said, this is all over my lid. And then Top Yacht, which is this really pretty rose gold, is in my inner corner. Also just gorgeous. These went on really well. They're, they are very creamy. You know, they're a little up there in price, but they're tart. These are actually some of the, the few Tarte products that I own, but when I saw people swatch these, like Jamie Page, I think I saw them with, she was offended because they were so beautiful. So right then and there, I was like, well, now I've got to try them. But when I first got them, and I actually first tried them, immediately what popped in my head was ColourPop. Their Super Shock Shadows are very similar, have a very similar result as this. I'm sure these probably have better ingredients in them, but I'm going to do a few comparisons. Now, the colors aren't dupes or anything and the formula is not a dupe but the result is very similar so i don't even know if you can call it a dupe but just work with me here so i mean <clears throat> like i said they're not color dupes but the results are very similar i mean they're both beautiful creamy very pigmented blinding even i mean they're they're both beautiful color pops just a quarter of the price so just saying if you want a cheaper if you'd like to try a cheaper alternative and you haven't tried color pop give them a try or if you want to shell out the 20 bucks, 22 bucks, go for it. These are very nice. I will be, again, exchanging martini for a hopefully compact one, but you know, I think they're cool. I can't say whether or not I think they're worth the price just because I think they're just so similar looking to ColourPop and I have a ton of ColourPop. I feel like if I knew that, I probably wouldn't have gotten them. But I mean, I have them and I'll use them. So there you go. So that was it for my, I don't know what the hell this video is. It's just my feelings on this product. So thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your holiday if it's past already. I don't know when I'm filming this. I'm actually filming this the Friday before Christmas. You don't care, whatever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more. Have a great holiday and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.